Hey guys, it's Andrew with Trekker Trailers. Going to show you our newest tiny house. We're really proud of this one. Put a lot more into it than the last one. We got some great, more innovative ideas. And I'm um, going to give you a quick walk around and we'll see what we've got here. First of all, we went with cool lime green color. You know we like to have those tropical looks. And, you know, well, we are in Florida. So um, come on around here. We've got a, uh, got a little flower box made out of cypress. So that'll hold up for a long time. The exterior is, is a high grade exterior ply with our batten boards all sealed, primed, and painted well. This one's on a little bit heavier axle than we had before. This one's rated for 5,200 pounds. Got electric brakes built in. It pulls really nice. I pulled it about six hours a couple weekends ago uh, with a half ton truck. Double pane argon glass windows, Bowie. We still went with the same commercial industrial roof, same skylight. Come around here, you'll see we have a residential grade uh, electrical service box here and then we have our cord for our power you just pull this cable all the way out just like you would an RV and you plug it into your 30 amp service here's your city water connection here just look right to your hose and we like that hot water heater we had on the last one so well we put one on this one again these work really great instant gas hot water heater um, hook it right to a regular propane tank like you would your uh, barbecue grill or, or something like that and it works really good. Um, we also put a storage shed on this one. We realized that some outside storage would really come in well. And this made a really good uh, little break in the aerodynamics. You know we are still pulling a big house so it's not going to be any streamline but this does seem to help a bit. And there's lots of storage in here. Gave us a place for our battery banks. have dual bank battery system in there. We did the uh, porch a little bit smaller because we realized, hey, you know, we're not, it's not big enough quite to sit on, but we love the looks of it. So we went ahead and just used half of it and gave our, our little porch. And uh, so we still have the cool look, but I'll show you the advantage on the inside. Kept the same mason jar 12 volt light, LED. We have a 110 out, outside uh, electrical service box. And come on in. Went with tongue and groove pine in this one. Uh, a little bit lighter color, a little more open feel. And this one, this camper, or this tiny house is actually a foot longer than the last one. So a little bit more to it, a little more space. And one of the advantages there is we were able to use regular household furniture. So you don't like these chairs, get rid of them. You can put different ones in. You can do a built-in couch. But a little more options, a little more versatile. We have lots of storage in behind the chairs now. We have these shelves here. And uh, yeah, just come on through. I'll show you. We put a closet in this one. Your hanging clothes and such. And we kept the uh, slide-out pantry. Soft closed drawer. Separate freezer and fridge. Two burner. Microwave. Upper cabinets. Put a 12 volt light in this one up above. Nice stainless sink. And uh, check this out. This was the huge advantage with the uh, extra space going out onto the porch is voila. Much bigger bathroom. A lot more roomy. Gave a little more upgrades. We did a, um, it's an RV toilet, but it's a porcelain RV toilet. So a little high grade there. And we did real ceramic tile in this. Very spacious. And now, as you can see, we uh, kept the skylights. A really nice feature we had on the last one. It does let a lot of light in as far as um, sometimes it can be too bright. But, man, the advantages of having that sky view. We actually had this out in a rainstorm, and it was just beautiful watching the rain come down on it. Now, check this out. The last one, we had a two-part bed system, which took a little more involvement to uh, set it up from one person to two people. So this one, we decided we got some extra space. Let's make it a little simpler. So now, it's just one piece that comes down. And there's your full-size bed. That took me a whole of, what, half a second? <laughs> and it's a little bit lower, still up higher, so I still consider it my hybrid Murphy bed. But this one's a little easier to get up into. 
Still have lots of storage up here up by the air conditioner. And there you have it. Lots of room to move around. This is our new tiny house. Give us a call. We'll hook you up.